show you today how to create a new project mail in Aconex. We'll go through a couple of ways of selecting recipients from the project directory and complete the required fields in the mail, including setting a time frame for the response before we send it. I'll also show you the shortcuts for creating mail types that you use frequently. Let's get started. Click mail on the module menu and under create new, click blank mail. First up, we need to choose the type of mail that we want to send. Mail types can be configured with auto text, which is automatically added to the mail. This is very useful for commonly used forms or clauses in your organization. Let's choose Request for Information. And you can see some auto text has been added to give us a head start. See how some fields are marked with an asterisk and highlighting? These fields are mandatory, and we have to complete them in order to be able to send the mail. Now we need to choose the mail recipients. We must choose at least one to recipient or CC recipient, and we can of course choose more. We can just type some or all of the name in the field and press enter. Aconex searches the project directory for names or mailing groups that match. If a number of matching names are found, you need to choose the recipient you want from the list. You can also choose recipients or a mail group from the address book by clicking to or CC. This lets you find recipients using their organization name, given name, and family name. Select the recipient you want and add them to the project mail. Not all types of mail need a response, but we'd like a response to our RFI, so we'll choose Respond By and set the date we want an answer by. For example, your project instruction could have agreed time frames for RFI replies. Any recipients in the To field will need to respond by this date, but recipients in the CC field unexpected to reply. Now type a meaningful subject for the mail. This helps you and others know what it's about and to find it later on. Now we need to add the mail attributes. Attributes are tags used with mail and documents that provide extra search criteria to help you track things down later. You can check the attribute list in your project instruction. These vary from project to project. Mail details, if you have them, are similar. Details aren't used on every project, but they make it easy to enter, find, and report on the information that's contained in the mail. So if they're there, fill them in. You can also add attachments to your mail, documents from your register, a project mail, files from your computer or network. So if you've had a response from another project member that's relevant to your mail, you can search for it and attach that mail instead of cutting and pasting the information. That way, your recipient gets the full context. There's our attached mails. Then we complete the body text. You can also copy and paste text from other sources like Word into mail. At any time when you're creating your mail, you can save it to draft. Aconex automatically saves your mail to draft every five minutes and you'll get a similar notification each time. We click send and off it goes. Mail's displayed confirming that it's been sent to all recipients. Remember, all project mail sent and received in Aconex has fast and secure delivery. So now you know how to create any type of mail, let me show you a shortcut for creating mail types that you use frequently. You see this list of mail types under Create Mail? These are the mail types that you've created most often in the previous 30 days. It's your personal set of mail shortcuts. One click and you're off to a flying start. I hope you're now confident with creating and sending a new mail. You'll be able to search for recipients by name from within the new mail form or go to the address book for a wider search set a response time frame, and complete the mail details. You'll also be sure that it was delivered. Be sure to take advantage of your personal mail type shortcuts. Bye for now.